All right, welcome to another episode from The Chart Readers. Hey, if you can please like or subscribe, that would be much appreciated. It does really well with the YouTube algorithms, but nonetheless, I sincerely appreciate your time. So today we are gonna look at the FANG and blue chip stocks, okay? Regardless if you have your money in these or not, it is really good to look at these at least once a week, okay? Because most of these are in at least one or multiple major markets, right? Between the NASDAQ, the S&P 500, and the Dow Jones. So if all of these are doing well, you can imagine the markets are gonna do well. If all are doing bad, vice versa, and then if it's a mix, well, hey, we're gonna go horizontal like we've been the last, what, like year, give or take, right? So with that, before we get into the details, what are we gonna do? Same thing we always do, right? We're gonna look at the daily and the weekly to see how things are setting up. We have our five moving averages. There are horizontal and resistance lines that I do manually draw myself. And then when we're done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. One last note, I am making this video a little earlier than normal, so we are in live trading hours. There's a little more than two hours of live trading left, so you will definitely see percentages move, you'll see candles go up and down. Again, this is live trading, okay? Hopefully nothing silly happens and, and the technicals should still hold. So first and foremost, a little surprised to see Meta doing this well, actually, right? A bit of a technical reason you can see it, right? We, we break the 100, we definitely start to cool down, and then like we love it, right? We use the eight moving average as a support line and are able to bounce up, right? We definitely lose it the day before, but there's zero confirmation of losing it and heading down. Instead, we get a pretty monster candle that does it? Yeah, it makes up for the last two red ones, right? So that's a beautiful thing. Um, clearly, that we should be putting a line right at the top of this. Let's go a little higher, roughly there. Yeah, if it could break um, 137, roughly, I mean, it should, and you might actually see it while we're making this video. If it could actually break this line, it should do really well. Where does this line put us? Yeah, I mean, break this, and it's also the top of that. What was the top of that? 137.50. So hey, maybe 137.50 might be a little bit better of a number, but yeah, there's a there's actually a lot of reason to believe it might run to the 200 right here, all the way up at um, 160. And that's definitely a little bit more than 10% right there. So um, yeah, I think, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, 137, 150, I think one of those two, I still have no problem holding this one for now, right? But um, yeah, I could see that 50 line being a little bit of a, of a issue too, right? But hey, Meta, one more time, this just did really well. And again, I think this is a little more technical reason, right? Because most of the markets aren't doing fantastic these last couple of days, right? So I'm curious to see how the rest will do. But yeah, you, you break out of the cluster, you break the line, you get a little more love, you definitely need to cool down. I mean, 83 is a high RSI, right? I generally say, you know, this is the place where we're going to need a good cool down, right? Even a little lower, once we're at 77, I'll say we need a good cool down, right? But um, yeah, I love the bounce off the eight and really good confirmation is going to be getting over this line, if not that 137.50 that we saw um, a little further back, right? But yeah, overall, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm, I'm surprised on Meta. This is a great weekly chart though, and I think it goes to show you why I say it all the time. If you have a good weekly chart, you have a lot more reason to believe you'll have good dailies, right? Because this is at least telling me, hey, look, three out of the two days are going to, sorry, three out of the five should be better even if you have one good day and four bad maybe the the one good day will be that much better than the four right but if you're in a place where you believe weekly it's going to get better it, it makes you a little more comfortable and that's really what we see here right we break the 20 we get good confirmation this is definitely the doji week right so doji doesn't count um, but if we get the confirmation and like I, like this line, again, if we can break it, there's a lot of red to fill. And again, it takes us right to that 160 number we just talked about to the bottom of this. So yeah, 160 does seem like a fair target to put. We just need a little bit more confirmation to, to make us believe that. But one more time, that's definitely a high RSI and I'm curious how the rest of these um, are gonna look. So um, let's go to Apple. Okay, interesting. Hey, it's at least a green candle. I will take that, right? Green is better than red, but not a fantastic follow-up, right? So let's talk about this. Clearly trading well under the eight. I remember I was I was a little worried about this one. It didn't even go that horizontal, right? It pretty much just decided let's go up and a lot of it was on my line right here, right? When you're trading under all five moving averages, that's when I'll put a little more weight on my lines. But for the most part, it really is all about these moving averages, okay? 
Um, so again, we trade under the eight, that's a bad thing. We then get a good break. And really these two right here are not fantastic confirmation by any means. However, I like the fact that both days were above this one, right? So that is a good thing. From there, obviously, this was a nice candle. This doesn't quite count because this is a little more doji than I like to see. And then good follow through the last couple days. Again, I'll say it. I'm, I'm real surprised that Apple's even in the green, let alone as close to it as it is, right? So um, yeah, real interesting actually. But um, what I care about really is gonna be getting over this right here, okay? I'd obviously love to get over this. This was the open, so I care a little bit less. This day closed up here, and we're still struggling to get, you know, around 50% of this guy, right? So um, we're definitely at a place where it seems like we're gonna bounce off the eight, but it, it really is gonna matter right here, and I'll go ahead and put a, uh, a new line right there. So yeah, 136, almost the same number as the other one. Um, but yeah, if we can break 136, look at that right there, beautiful. A bunch of reds in a row to actually make us believe we might even break the 50 and go to the 100. Because look, this is a lot lower than than Facebook, right? So um, yeah, if the, the, this being the RSI, sorry about that. This is in the 70s, the other one was in the 80s, right? So um, I'll be happy if we can close over this, right? I don't care if we test it and then in the next two hours come down. If we can close over this, um, I'm hoping that we can start taking out some some red candles, right? So, um, and like I said, there's there's reason to believe we might actually get it up to here. I can't believe the weekly's gonna look great. Yeah, and, and nothing, nothing to be proud of just yet, right? We're still definitely under the eight for a number of weeks. It does look like we're starting to make this upward curve, right? So that's positive to see, but look, rule number one is get over the eight, right? If we can get over the eight, that'll make me believe the dailies will be a little more sustainable, right? right Right now, for all I know, we might just be testing this and kind of failing back down. Again, just in all honesty, I'm surprised that the, and you know what, let's just let's just take a look at the markets real quick, okay? So I'm gonna go backward, not backwards, but I'm gonna start with the Dow Jones. So the Dow Jones, look at this thing. It, it definitely wanted to get into my golden lines of trading. It does a nice bounce off the 50 again, hopefully going into the golden lines of trading and look, this day breaks, does it break actually or no? Let's see. Oh man, it is It is silly close. So it actually does close over. We closed at 6.30. I'm getting rid of the 33 in the front, right? 6.12 and 6.28 are the other ones. This is also a real good confirmation actually. So this is, oh, we're on the weekly. Damn, my bad. Um, this makes way more sense for how the market should be looking. So look, Dow did really well, last few days have been bad and we definitely lose a lot of important moving averages. I'm glad this doji, that might be why some of this is kind of saving and it's definitely a doji on the higher side, right? But um, let me just zoom out a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad we're not coming down to test this. It looks like this line is pretty strong, but yeah, if, if this comes a little bit more down, right? Obviously, it's gonna make the other ones not look as good. SP 500 should show should show the same story and it does right real nice up starting to come down still doji today but look this one is actually on that the 20 right here right so this one is trying to bounce on the 20 maybe that's what's actually helping um, what is it called the uh, the Dow Jones so and then let's end it with Nasdaq. Again, NASDAQ has two moving averages right there, right? You can see the cluster of the eight and the 50. It should be hard to lose that, right? As hard as it is to break up from two, it should be difficult to lose two, right? So I can see these dojis being the reason why we're seeing a couple more greens than I would have expected. Obviously it's only two tickers, right? But in, in all sincerity, I was not expecting um, to see some good things, but these dojis are actually making a little more sense. Um, did I talk about Apple Weekly? Let me just close it off to be safe because obviously we were on the week. Yeah, I did for sure. Okay, great. Let's go back to the daily, Amazon. All right, Amazon, so what's happening? Um, look, I, I know this 81 line was huge huge okay because i'm going to zoom out again we're under all five moving averages that's a horrible place to be it's obviously been there for a while right so the lines end up mattering just a little bit more and yeah this 81 line was huge because i think it goes into the 60s after this one right 
Um, but basically, like I said, Apple didn't go as horizontal before it went up, right? But yeah, Amazon, you saw all the under the eight starts going horizontal, starts making a beautiful run. And look, when the markets do well, you know these are gonna do well, right? At least you should know, I hope you do, right? So um, you see almost the exact same um, pattern, right? That that parabolic up and, and quick um, hump down, right? So it should make sense that these are all looking the same as the markets. Because one more time, I'm sure Amazon is on a number of, of the three that we saw, right? So um, it's definitely in NASDAQ. I can't believe it's not in um, S&P 500 or Dow Jones, right? I, I don't know what's in them, but has to be a top 500 company for sure, right? So um, nonetheless, what's happening? Look, we're at least being held by the eight, right? The eight is doing as much as it can to stop the bleeding, right? Because let's be honest, if this eight wasn't here, it's gonna come here. What I really care about is can this eight actually be the bounce point up or are we coming down to the 90s, if not even lower to this 88 range right here, right? Um, this one looks how I expected Meta and Apple to look. Meta definitely has the best weekly and you can see why that one was doing well. This one should have a better weekly than Apple. Yeah, it does, right? It, it got a good break of the eight. However, we don't care about one week, right? We've seen how many weeks it's been well under the eight, right? So I was hoping this would take us closer to or over the 20. Clearly right now we're battling for 50%, right? If we can stay over 93, I'm just kind of rounding, right? That'll at least say, hey, we've held, what number is this? That's 94, we don't need 94. I mean, I'd love 94, don't get me wrong. But yeah, 93 would be well over 50% and I, I'd still at least be okay with that, hoping the week after does well, right? But yeah, Amazon is how I expected the last ones to look. My cat's at the door and I gotta let her out one second. What are you doing? Come on, there you go, who's a good girl? All right, sorry about that. Um, but that was Amazon, Netflix, NFLX. Okay, again, this is what I expected the last ones to look like, right? Beautiful run up with all three markets kind of starting to see the letdown as the markets let down, right? Because again, Netflix, I'm not gonna repeat myself. It obviously you see it, right? The one thing is Doji, Doji doesn't count still, okay? Obviously it counts that we're under the eight, but I really care about the next full candle. Are we gonna get a nice green one that actually maybe takes us back over or are we gonna get a bad red one that brings us down, right? With the MACD kind of looking ugly, RSI being pretty high, volume is definitely starting to go down. We're starting to see a little bit more selling the last couple of days. It really seems like we're coming back to this 300 line in all honesty, right? Maybe this two, this tw wow, I keep saying 20, uh, 200, sorry. Maybe this 20 will, will be able to, um, Nice, okay, so we've bounced on the 20 before, definitely lost it, then bounced on the 50. Hopefully the 20 can do a bounce point again. It did a, a huge job right here and obviously propelled it up, just kind of lost it here, right? But um, yeah, I think a little more likely that it'll come here because yeah, there's definitely two together, but it's not as tight a cluster, right? So I think this one might lose quickly, but this should hold it. If the 50 loses it, again, if you lose the 50, you're gonna go to the next one down, which is the 100, right? So, um, but yeah, hopefully we hit 300. And real quick, let me at least draw this. I don't, I haven't been drawing them too much, right? But we're still doing well here. So let's put it right there. So I take it from the bottom of that, I hit the bottom of that, we make the line. Again, I think it was perfectly said, right? If we don't bounce on the 50, and you can see the 50 is pretty much locked into right there. If we lose that 300 line, the 50 moving average, real good chance we're gonna come down here because we'll, we'll for sure break this, this um, uptrend that we have going. But very likely that we hit it and keep going, right? As long as the markets don't tank. So um, yeah, I think that, that was nice to, to reconfirm the importance of that 50 moving average and, and the 300 line. Cool. Let's see what the weekly looks like. Again, this is a good weekly, right? Look how long, man, since the middle of the year, not a lot of stocks can say that, but this thing has been very nicely trading over the eight for a pretty long time, right? This is the power of the eight. And I'm gonna just zoom back out on the daily. Look, you, you can see it, right? Since the middle, look how, it's it's just, it's a beautiful thing when the weekly, wow, I zoomed out too much, sorry. but. 
this little zoom in was that much zoomed out on the daily, right? Because again, this is 5X on the daily, right? It takes five full days to make one single weekly, right? And if you're just over lines like this, all of it is five times better on the daily, right? As opposed to five times worse when you're under it, right? So um, yeah, I know I repeat myself a lot, but it really is to make sure that it just, you know, engraves in the head, right? But look, we break the 50 real nicely. We're definitely keep going up and are we over all of them? We're not. Okay, cool. So this is definitely still here. But look, red, 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 red turns into green, 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 green. Not as quickly as I wanted, but we are actually at the top of it, right? We are give or take a couple cents from actually hitting the bottom of that candle, right? So um, yeah, technical analysis, it's a, it's a beautiful thing, right? It, it is what it is. But again, like we see it, it looks like we're about to lose the 80, probably come to 300. Just don't lose that line, don't lose the 50, don't lose the, the trend line, right? Lot is riding on that number. Goog, interesting day, okay. Uh, interesting. All right, I had no idea this was going on, but you can you can see it. Uh, it piqued my interest. So look, first thing I see is a whole mess of reds right here and right here that are ready to get filled. Right, clearly we get a nice again. This goes under, goes horizontal, starts to kind of move up, but nothing spectacular, right? And why is that? It's because you can see how tight these three lines were. Okay, when we were looking at other ones, there was a lot more spacing, right? Maybe these two, the, the eight and the 20 were tight, but the 50 was probably right here with the 100 up here and 200 even higher, right? The fact that these three are so tight makes it tough trading, right? And you often hear me say, I'll wait to get over it and do the safer trading, then kind of try to play in the middle of them, all right? Then, and that actually plays out really well right here. Um, I do need to make a couple lines real quick, that is for sure. Um, and I'm gonna do them on the daily, not the weekly, because there's definitely a lot happening. Oh man, we are sitting at the cusp. I love it. Okay, cool. Um, I gotta draw one right there. I know it's a lot closer than I like to make them, but I, you gotta know where the bottom of that thing is. And then it looks like those two are, no, those aren't even close to 50%. Where's your 50%? It's right there. It's, it's not, it's closer to that, but I wanted it to be that line. Maybe it's the bottom of that one. What does that look like? Bottom of that guy. Okay, I'll do that. So those are the three lines I'm gonna draw right now. Obviously, I wanna break that so I can start filling these little candles, right? Because that's green, green, green. That's red, red, red. That should take us here. If we can break this, I think we'll be able to come on up this right there. Give me a click. Yeah, and that's exactly the, the 100 moving average, right? So nice, I don't have to draw the line right there. Um, either the 100 or I think that 98. Oh, and that's 98 on the dot. Love it, I didn't even see that yet, so. Um, cool. I think there's reason to believe 98 is is feasible here. Looks like MACD is actually going up. Looks like RSI continues to go up. It's a low 70, excuse me. So there, there's still room to at least make the attempt. Do I think we're going to break that 100? Nah, I really don't. And you can see we actually haven't even done a real good test in a long time. So let's just hit it and test it. And that definitely will be an accomplishment for Goog. So um, damn, I, I've been talking for 20 minutes and haven't really mentioned earnings. I have zero idea if any of these have released their numbers yet or not. So please make sure you are, you are you know, aware of that. And real quick, I'm not gonna draw the line, but just very quickly, once that broke, you can see the quick escalation up. Again, was it a monster run? No, because that 50 sucked and was right there. But you can guess if that 50 wasn't there, and if that one was the 50, it would have just real quickly ran up to this. So again, that's why you hear me talking about, just look for, for better, oh man, look at this thing. So the 200 on the weekly is a horrible thing to lose, okay? And why? Because again, that's gonna put you under all of these. There's so many lines up here. Shit, I gotta delete these soon. Um, again, you can see how important Google is. Google is something I've been, you know, you gotta watch these, right? Money in this or not, you gotta watch these. Um, but nonetheless, look, you don't wanna lose this on the weekly because once you're under all of them, it's bad. And you just said this is five times slower than the daily. So this could have brought a lot of pain. Luckily, this line right here is holding well, right? And I'm gonna zoom out because I, you know, 
if if it starts to lose, there's there's definitely some uptrends to to quickly eat away and come down, right? So monster monster line giving us a reason to believe. Look, and again, the same target we just kind of drew, right? If if we can get here, that'd be beautiful. It makes me. I'm not sure if we'll actually get to that 98 number anymore, especially knowing where's this at 96. Let me see what 96 looks like on the daily real quick. Is that one of these? Is that you? That is him. Okay. So what I'm going to do is move this one from there to there. Okay. Um, I think 96 might be a little hard to break. I think it could hit 96, maybe wick up here and then drop. But yeah, 96 is, is looks like it'll be an interesting test. Again, that's a good MACD and a good RSI though. I wish this was a little lower, but um, yeah, makes me stop. Ah, man, I think 96 is the better target. I, I think 98 might be a little greedy at the minimum. What's this? 97.25. Those are all real good whole numbers. 97.25 would be the the target, I think. I think it'd be a little greedy to to go for the 90. And again, we're talking pennies here, right? Don't don't get greedy there. Boeing's been monstrous, okay? So I missed some of the run and and you know, it didn't keep going going as expected. And what's really sad is it it looked like it was going to break this and actually keep going, right? But again, no stock is really better than the overall market conditions, right? And we see it one more time, right? Market's doing well, market's doing well, market's slowing down the last couple days, right? So it's seems like we might be dropping back into this 200 range. Again, MACD, which did so well, is definitely getting tired. RSI has been really horizontal up here, which is says a lot actually, okay? it's Most of the time when we see horizontal RSIs, they're in the middle. They're around the 40, not really sure what to do. This thing has been high and has stayed high and it has a lot to do with this just beautiful run this thing really has done. And look, a lot of it starts right when it breaks the eight, right? Bad things happen under the eight, great things happen over the eight. And as you break some lines, and then when you break the last one, the opposite of what we just said on the weekly, real nice things happen, right? So um, yeah, I, I don't remember the last time I saw a horizontal RSI that's pretty much horizontal in the 70s, right? High 60s, 70s, that's a, that's a cool thing to see. But um, again, nothing goes up forever. There's been plenty of places to make some good money and, and hopefully bank it. And really quickly, okay, where are we? This green, 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 green can real easily turn to red, 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 right? We, we talk about that. What I love is if it happens, but that same thing is what we're going to look for when we want to make that green, 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 right? So this is real easy to lose, as easy as it is to pick up the reds, right? So just keep that in mind. But Boeing has been a monstrous beast and really volume could have helped you um, make an easy out because look at all this volume and then this is kind of the first stack of reds we're seeing too, right? That's why volume is king. Don't forget that. Um, let's look at the weekly real quick. Okay, so look. And, and this is something I'd said earlier, right? You break an important line, you cannot use a doji as your confirmation. Doji does not count. You wait for the one after and, and it does look like we're starting to go down. That is a golden cross right there. That is a golden cross right there. I, I realize that, however, getting confirmation I think matters a little more to me than, than the golden crosses I'm seeing. So unless we can get over, I mean, where is that? Okay, give me a second, sorry. That one was 214.13. This one was 213 on the dot. Yeah, let's just put it back here. If it can get over that, <laughs> there we go. Get over that, we'll be interested. Otherwise, I think we're going to kind of cool down as well. But look, this should be really hard to lose. It really shouldn't go much lower than 195 and then hopefully continue that bounce back up, right? And look, if it comes to 195, that'll help this RSI cool down because even the weekly got as high as 90 something. What did it get right here? Damn, it got to 93 on this week, right? So, you know, everything needs to cool down, right? Nothing nothing goes up forever and it, it's a matter of a healthy cool down, right? So, um, Disney, DIS, okay. Interesting, actually kind of the same chart as, um, as, as uh, Boeing right there, right? Got to the 100, a beautiful clean ride to the 100, just couldn't get over it, right? Looked like a good day, definitely does not count, definitely does not count. 
can't use a red day as your confirmation. Come on now, right? And right now we're basically trying to use this eight to, to bounce up, try to break the break the 100, right? If this eight wasn't there, you know we were coming down here, right? And again, that's why we do love the eight. Bad things happen under, good things happen above, right? So um, yeah, it's all about this right here, right? And I'll go ahead and draw a line right there. Boom. If we can get over, I mean, 100 bucks. If we can get over 100 bucks, there's a lot of reason to believe that we're going to come up to, to 103. Is it a big percentage? No, not really. But hey, if we can get over the 200 moving average on the daily, that's a beautiful thing. Because then we, you know, it, it should be smoother sailing, right? So, um, you know, is it worth playing this? Hey, depends depends who you are, right? If you got your finger on the mouse, it could be a real easy. Because look at all those reds, right? It actually could be well worth your time if it's there. If you're a swing trader and don't want to do a lot of work and just kind of let it sit and do its thing, that would happen over all the moving averages, right? But um, just look at that real quick, 90 on the RSI, right? I mean, that's big, right? And one more time, market does well, market starts to calm down, right? So. Um, make sure you look at the markets for sure, for sure. Again, beautiful, right? Break the eight, break the 20. You know, this is still all right. I'm hoping it's a healthy cool down and we work our way back up, right? So, um, and really the weekly is not even that worthy of a cool down for lack of words, right? So um, Disney still looks all right. Again, it just, it, it did a massive run and needs to cool down. So um, come down here, don't lose that, make your way back up, could be a good thing, right? And plenty of, of profit to bank if, if you are in this. WMT, Walmart, ugh, okay, interesting. So, ugh, <laughs> let me say that one more time. Um, I gotta believe I was bullish the last time we made it, if I made this around here, right? You know I'm gonna say it, you're gonna need some good confirmation, right? Because you're under the eight, you're going horizontal, and then just magically, you gap up and destroy two moving averages, right? The day after matters so much. You need just as equal confirmation if you're gonna gap up and break two, right? So that that's no joke, right? And definitely do not see that. And then all that ends up happening is you fail the 50 and then fail the eight and the 20, which actually ends up being a lot more devastating, right? And look, right now we're at the 100. Seems like we might come to the 200. Maybe this is earnings related. Again, I have no idea if they've released their numbers or not, right? But um, yeah, RSI is actually looking really bad. Right as you zoom in, it looks like this thing still wants to keep going down. This thing's definitely going horizontal, right? So um, not not too much I can look at there, but yeah, it all starts here, and it, it's now under four of five, right? And it didn't look like the fifth one was that far away. So hopefully this does not go lower. What is the actual number? Let's get to the exact one thirty. This can't. This cannot hit one thirty seven fifty. That would be very bad. Okay, and again, look that this line right here is sitting right in that like green, 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 green zone, right? So it could very quickly drop to, to yeah, this 134, 133 range. So be careful with Walmart for sure. Ouch. Um, look, there are three moving averages right here. Literally, it, like this should be very hard to break, right? Especially on the weekly, right? So this should catch it. If this does not, we go right to the numbers we just said, right? 132, 133. This one has us a little lower than 132, right? So Walmart looking ugly and look, that's a bad MACD, bad RSI, not good volume at all, right? Obviously this is pretty horizontal, so like nothing worth worth like getting crazy about but yeah this macd was definitely well above red for a pretty long time and now we've gone under it that that might have me a little bit worried for sure so this might be the ugliest one in the group walmart msft microsoft all right first and foremost i've said it a couple of times i'm in tech so like it does make me sad to hear that there's layoffs here um, real quick, just on the technicals, this green, 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 green might quickly turn to red, red, red because we are under all five, right? But um, just in all honesty, if the layoff does happen, I think it actually happened yesterday, right? That's that's actually good for a company, right? You just leaned out your books a little bit. So um, as messed up as it is, especially for you know my tech brothers and sisters that are in there now and kind of on LinkedIn making that little green circle, right? It's a horrible thing, right? 
um, it's actually good for the stock, right? So just the, the shit side of, of reality, right? Um, there's also a lot of no, I think it's chat GPT. I, I don't know. You can tell I don't know what it is very well, but that new AI thing that'll like write essays for you and whatnot. Um, they definitely have a big play in it. They're getting connected to it really well. Um, yeah, I think this little blip in time should quickly go away from Microsoft, but right now things look bad. Okay. It looked like this wanted to go and look, you, it, it's hard when you have a bunch of moving averages stacked together, right? You want to find them spaced out so you can make nicer moves, right? But yeah, it was able to break this. It was able to break this. Definitely could not break the 50, let alone make a real attempt at the 100, right? And now we're under it all. And what sucks is we've now gapped down there right so tomorrow if it's bad i'm telling you this green 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 right behind a red 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 could really come down hopefully we don't go under this right you don't want to give up all of that that would really suck and then let me just zoom out a little bit more um oh yeah you for sure don't want to lose that because then you're yeah for sure um yeah okay this don't don't lose this right let me go to the weekly because i gotta and that's pretty much on the 200 on the weekly damn horrible um look if the 200 does its job you should bounce from it because again the 200 is actually a little it's hard to lose okay and you can kind of see it with this hundred here right it it, it there's obviously moments where it's under, but that's horizontal, right? Even at this 50, a little horizontal. This went more horizontal because it, it's it's hard to lose these. If we lose the 200 and we're under down here, I mean, I got to start making some lines down here, right? So that's for sure realistic. I'm going to use that one. I think that, and that's 200 on the dot. Yeah, I think that's a good line right there. I mean, so just be careful. I'm, I think that's it for now. We'll make more if we need to. Um, I think I use crosshair, right? Yeah. Um, be careful with Microsoft, for sure. This 200 should be difficult to break, but you see the line we just drew is pretty much the 200 on the weekly, right? So do not lose this line. Watch tomorrow, because dojis don't count. So hey, it might actually come back up because in a lot of ways, this is a horizontal cluster, at least these four kind of are. It would be really bad if it goes down and just those are not good lower indicators here. And all the buying is kind of, you know, it's only been two days, but that, that's a little worrisome right there for sure. Oh, Microsoft's the last one on the list. Okay, beautiful. Hey, I sincerely hope you're learning. I sincerely appreciate your time. Thank you so, so much. Have a great one.